this is it. Is this what we've been waiting for? Glory, I dream again. Your destiny, I pulled a will, not compromise. Hey, nay, nay. Freedom, 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 yeah. Freedom, freedom, freedom is calling us. Freedom, 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 yeah. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Hello, everyone. Welcome again to our new Tartarian Times. I'm Lorenzo. I've been told, it's been shared with me, that I haven't promoted myself enough. So I'm going to let everyone know, for 13 years, I've been a publisher of the New Agora magazine in print. We're doing it online, newagora.ca. The reason I'm mentioning this is Campbell's there. I am there. We have our business hubs there. We have a lot of people sharing good information there. Check it out. See how you can join us. See how we can join you. Newagora.ca. It's well worth looking into. You can see all our back print, all of the good information. And again, the reason I'm mentioning it is we put up new information daily. I know because I'm the one doing it. Very related to everything about our new Tartarian Times. You know, since I'm the publisher, I make sure all of the content and all of the information and all of the articles and videos are well researched, well thought out, and well worth your time to explore. So Campbell's there under the hub, his autodidactic hub. I'm there, the new now. There's dozens of others and new information every day. So newagora.ca, that's my little plug. Check it out. And today we're going to talk about allowance. Allowance, to allow, to avow, very close. So what do you allow? What gets allowed to you? What are you looking for for permission? Like when you were a small one, and you asked your parents for your allowance, right? Can you give me more? Can you give me, you know, it quicker? Do I have to earn it for myself? So allowance. Campbell, let's talk about that today. Yes, allowance. What do we allow? And I guess that's, you know, that's really the crux of it all, right? Everything that that, that happens, we really do allow, right? Like, you know, if things are happening to us, and whether we like them or not, at some level, we've allowed them. Mm. Um, and I guess I guess what what this sort of comes, you know, we grow into our allowance, into what we allow, don't we? Like mm. we're shaped. So like through experience, you know, we, we might be taught, oh, life is hard. So then we we won't allow ourselves to have an easy life, mm. right? So so yeah, I, I think allowance is it's a very interesting topic. Um, Renzo just brought it up, and I was thinking, allowance really allow? But this is the thing: what do we allow, and why do we allow it? Like, why do people you know, we've all had this. Why do they put up with that? Why do they keep doing that? Well, because they allow it. But that's a good question. Why? You know, it's all attached to permission. You know, you are allowed to do something. You're allowed to go out. The government gives you a time allowance. You have an allowance for your, you know, lunch. You're 50 minutes allowed for lunch when you're working. Uh, an allowance is also a handicap. Is an archaic way of looking at this uh, uh, definition, like, like for horse racing, an allowance. So... You know, it's it's it ties into promise, right? A promise of more money, and as Campbell just mentioned, it could be a good thing or a bad thing. You can allow a handicap into your life, right? You can allow a limitation into your life. You can allow people to abuse you verbally, or you can allow yourself to live under some rules that are supposedly demand it of you in your time, you know, whether they're political or, or, or civil or any of the other laws that people so, you know, so-called laws that people decide they're going to live under, you know, you allow a politician to tell you what to do. You allow information to come into your life simply by turning on a TV set, right? If you don't allow, you know, the TV into your home, right? You don't permit it. You don't give that promise. Then that information will never reach you. So, an allowance is a very, very powerful word that uh, kind of gets put to one side as something that doesn't really mean much, but I think it can mean actually everything in your life. Mm. Yeah, and, and a lot of people allow things, you know, as a sacrifice almost because they think that down the path that they, they get something else. So people, you know, allow their boss to be an asshole to them, right? Because they mm. want the patient at the end of the week. People, you know, and you see it all the time, like, with yeah, people in business or other sort of social hierarchies, yeah, they just let people treat them like crap because they think that mm. there's going to be a payoff for them. But I mean, this it doesn't work that way because allowing people to treat you like that, that's changing you as you go along, you know, down that path. You know, so then the the payoff, if the when you get the payoff, if you get it, you're not the same person. So you've you've then allowed someone to come in and change you. So this allowance, we don't always you know, we might say, well, I'll allow this, but we don't always necessarily see the whole spectrum of what that that does allow, right? Because right. when you allow one thing, there's this kind of mm. other, you know, 
domino effect of all these other things that have to be allowed. It's like, you know, um, you know, with a job, right? You get a job, but you, and to get a job and to be allowed to be paid, you then need to allow the government to take tax from you. You need to allow the government to make, you know, get all these registrations. You need to allow all this stuff in the in the process just so that you get paid at the end of the week and all someone to give you a job for 50 hours a week or whatever it is. So that's another thing like with your allowance, what else is entailed in that that we're, that we're not looking at? Because people tend to look at it as one thing. I allow this, but it's, it's never one thing, right? No, it's a toroidal as Campbell and I've talked about before this word, the more I'm even considering it with Campbell right now, I can see it going as deep as possible or as high as possible in that an allow is a vow, which is a promise. Right. So what do maybe you allow your lifespan? If you want to look at it, even in the other thing, you allow yourself to die at a certain point by allowing bad food into your life. As Campbell said, I'll just allow myself to enjoy the sugar today, or I'll allow myself to have a cigarette, or I'll allow myself this stress, right? Because, you know, let's say you have a job and it gives you stress. You're allowing the boss to treat you like shit. Uh, you're allowing the customers to yell at you. You're allowing the stress of whatever stress has come along with those jobs because you're not doing something you love. Uh, or a lot of people are like that, where if you're doing a job for money and it's not something of passion for you, but something of, you know, mercantile exchange. So you're saying, well, I'm allowing myself to get up early and to overwork, or I'm allowing myself to do this because, you know, I'm getting my paycheck and from my paycheck, I'm getting that. So what else are you allowing in on the side? You're allowing in the stress, you're allowing your time to slip away, you know, you're allowing your life to be, and then by allowing that, maybe you're disallowing other things. You don't have time to be an artist, right? You don't have time to be in shape. You don't have time to pursue your happy family. So this is actually perhaps, you know, a vow it used to be one of the biggest things for all men, you know, to a vow to a religion or to vow to a certain community or to take a vow of whatever celibacy or silence or intent or purpose. So, and that used to mean something to people. Yeah. And, and even though, in this modern day, people don't know about the power of these allowances. It's probably one of the biggest roadblocks and or, you know, launching pads for a new life uh, that can be imagined. And I'm trying to imagine it right now. I'm trying to find the right words for how big this can be. Because maybe mm -hmm. you have to allow yourself to be free. You have to allow new ideas into your life. You have to allow your imagination to grow. So, you know, beyond the allowance of the, the 10 cents I used to get when I was a little boy, and I still remember, you know, getting 10 cents and I could buy a chocolate bar or, you know, 10 pieces of gum, you know, that was my allowance, right? And it kind of limited my life because to me, I saw that this was what I was allowed to do for the day and that would allow my imagination, right? So I'm taking it down to a small amount when, you, you know, when you're five and you, you go to the candy store, but imagine now as your boss is allowing you let's say a thousand dollars a week. So it's kind of the same thing, right? So you're sitting with your imagination at the end of the week, like things haven't changed from when I was five to 55. Like if I'm allowed $500 a week, let's say, then I'm imagining what I need to spend it on, on this and that and the other thing and this other thing. And then that is, so you're still a little kid, right? You're still like getting your allowance. You know, they want to make it a digital allowance so the government will allow you to buy things in certain places or not other places, you know? So but even by allowing that system into your life as your means of trade, which you don't have to, you know, I can share some other stories too, how you can, you know, go outside of that system. If you allow them to dictate your limitations, again, this is a huge way, you know, you allow yourself into a cage and that's just crazy. <laughs> Yeah, and, and we allow other people to tell us what reality is, how we should live, what we should do, um, you know, on an individual basis and definitely on a, um, you know, a, a cultural basis, I guess, you know. And, and, and again, you know, we've, been, or we've all lived through the last three years. We've all seen these things and what, what you know, was supposedly suddenly sociably allowed. That all sort of changed, you know, the, and this is the other thing, right? So you allow people to have some power mm. and, and they love to just change that and, and they allow themselves more power. But, mm. but this is the thing. If we allow people to tell us, well, this is life. And so, and, and we've all heard it, right? So you need to get a job. You need to get the mortgage. You need, to, if we allow them to take over that part of us and to control it, right? Okay. And then we go and get a job and then we do it. It's like Lorenzo said, we've then allowed them to take over our lives and to cause us stress to, take us away from our passions, all this kind of stuff. 
And it's really, it's not, it's because we've allowed their point of view in. Mm. That's really it. If, if someone else's point of view and we allowed that in and they were like, oh, no, jobs, jobs are ridiculous. You need to get out there and follow your, your passion, write a book, whatever, say around the world, then we'd be doing something different, clearly. So, so this is the thing. Like We started off with this. Wherever you are, you've allowed it. You know, in, in, and, and we're not saying it's all conscious decisions. We're not saying you sat down and went, oh, I'm going to take this route. No, but, but you've allowed it. You've allowed people to influence you, to, you know, change your perspective, to get you into situations. And so no matter where you are, that's, you, you have allowed it. So the question is now is what are you going to allow going forward? Yeah, if you look at allow as a promise or a handicap, and you see that you can change your vows or your allowance, then that allows everything to change, which is really as big as it can become. Because even if you disallow uh, a, a system of commerce as something, you know, as an example, you know, they're raising all the prices and they're always raising the prices. And then there's notes in the news here in Japan that this Monday, all the prices are going up 10% across the whole country. And you're, and you know, and, you, and people just don't even consider that, right? You're going, you know, the, 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 the war in certain parts of the world, right? That they're talking about, I don't even care. And so that's why it's going up. And people go, oh, okay. And I, you know, I'm going like, how in heaven's name can someone have the power to sit there and tell you in every store, you know, across the country, prices are going up a certain percentage on everything, right? Because of this something or other, which in my opinion has no, no connection to anything. Right. And so because people, yeah, because people given have given them the allowance to change, you know, their, and, and I haven't, I'm going, well, that's ridiculous. So I'm going to give a little magic. Again, I like sharing these little magic stories I have. So the, the, the costs of things are supposedly going up. And for me, I'm going, no, no, they're not going up. That's just ridiculous. You know, because at one point I was worrying, I was allowing their perspective in. I was going, oh my goodness, I'm talking to my wife. I'm going, what are we going to do? They're raising the price on eggs, they're raising the price on chickens, they're raising the price on milk, they're raising the price on all of these things. And suddenly, you know, we'll have less, right? So for a moment, I was allowing that energy into my life. And I said, you know, I don't think so. That's just somebody somewhere in some computer or some media says, or Yahoo Japan. I mean, you know, something, a Yahoo, Yahoo used to be an idiot. You know, yeah, yeah. Like, you know so you even think about it. So why would I let an idiot uh, give me their perspective? Right. And then the next time I went to a convenience, which is a convenience store here, and I bought my bottle of green tea. I remember I was walking out because I don't take the receipts. I don't want those, you know, things. And the lady chased me out of the store and said, wait a minute, you've won a free one. <laughs> you know, just come back in the next couple of days. So, you know, I bought a tea and suddenly my tea was half price. You know, you and, and 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 so I didn't choose that I was going to fight a system or I didn't choose that I was not going to get something. I just said, you know, that reality, I would disallow that. I don't, it's just not for me. No, thank you. I'm going to go on with my life. If I need to make more, I'll make more. If I need to make less, I'll make less. If I need to stop or start certain ways of being or eating or where I get my food, their, their, their idea that my prices are going higher, it's like F off. That's just not my reality. Right. And then literally the world said, well, okay, you allowed in a more magic reality or more a different perspective. Here's your free tea. And I'm going, well, thank you. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, this is it. We, we allow, I was just thinking, you know, allowance, you know, when we're young, it's the parents. And then we grow up and we allow the government to take over the parent role, right? Mm. All the boss. No, that's all the money you get. So the, I think the question is, what are you going to allow yourself to do? Mm. Are you going to allow yourself to see a different picture, to, to see a better future? Are you going to allow yourself to see, um, you know, opportunities and, and other ways of doing things? Mm. You know, because this is the thing, like with eggs, right? Eggs went up from, what, $3 to like $12. But you can buy a chicken for $12. So, you know, you've got choices. You know, you can allow yourself to go, oh, my God, look at this. It's so hard to live. I, I'm only on this small allowance, which doesn't change. And now I have to pay all this more money. Or you could go, well, I'm just going to buy a chicken and get, and it's the same kind of thing. Like, I, I don't agree that everything is getting more expensive. So I'm just going to do this and things won't get more expensive. Yeah. This is the thing. So, so we allow, or so, um, you know, when we buy into this, we create it, right? It, it's, it's, if everyone, you know, in the whole realm, if everyone on earth went, no, 
we don't allow whatever, right? We don't allow the, the prices to increase, or we don't allow war to exist, or we don't allow politicians mm. to tell us what to do. It would all stop. So all of this is everything that everyone complains about all day, every day, and they watch the news and the YouTube and they scream, why, why? Mm. We've, it's, a, it's, your, it's your fault. It's my fault. We've allowed it. We've allowed this, this reality to, to exist, right, to create itself you know incrementally yeah that they like they push the allowance but that's what what we said is you know once you allow one thing to someone they're going to keep pushing it we know what the nature yeah. of this world is like and the ones who like the power we know what they're like and they're normally the ones that we have to allow because we have to give you know we have to give some of ourselves away right because they we allow them to tell us what life is what reality is get a job do this be good you know pay the bills blah 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 um, but it's all in the end, that's all us allowing this to happen. And mm. I think now at the moment we're looking around going, oh, mm. maybe we should not have allowed that. You know, we've allowed them to, to take over our world. I mean, even if you want to swim in their reality, so they raise their prices. Think about the people that are controlling things with their unlimited resources and their unlimited pockets. Maybe you should allow yourself bigger pockets. So if, if they're changing the price of eggs from $3 to $12, isn't it your allowance of what that money means, what's limiting you? It's like, because maybe you have a job where you're getting $9 an hour. And so suddenly you have to work for you know an hour and a half instead of 30 minutes to make your eggs. So you're giving that allowance to you. But if you say to yourself, well, you know, I'm just going to allow abundance to flow. I'm going to find ways to do my art, my heart, what have you. So maybe suddenly you're making $27 an hour. So everything's the same for you then. It's like, that's like the, the thing is, is these limitations of monetary things, whether they're digital or gold or, or pieces of paper, it's, it's all an allowance of, 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 uh, of definition of value of purpose, right? So whatever it is or is not is strictly up to you, right? Because maybe you'll find your eggs for free the way I got a free tea. You know, I have, I have un, un, uncounted examples of how things change for me. I found money in the street, I've had computer programs change on me. I mean, even people going, oh my goodness, AI is going to control me and run me. It's a computer at best, right? So if it's not alive, you change the code. You, it doesn't control anything unless you allow it to control things. So like, I don't know about anyone else, but I'm in control of my computer. I'm in control of what goes on. I'm in control mm -hmm. even of, of the people that tell me I'm not in control when they go, well, there's nothing we can do. It's the bank or this. You go, there's always ways around these things. There's always ways to sidetrack them. We haven't even gotten into the magic of energetic creations yet or any of this, this sort of stuff. So, you know, so mm -hmm. if you allow your imagination to grow, you know, and you disallow them to have that power over you and then all of these things become nonsense. I mean, I mean, I I did a, an interview with Harold Koch recently, and he talked about timeline shifting, which you know maybe they are. I could see them. And he goes something that sits with me today. There's war, and there's rumors of war, and maybe they're not the same. <laughs> I would say they're definitely not the same. Um, yeah, we can't go into that topic too much, but I mean, is it real or fantasy? I'll just right. Leave it <laughs> right. Just so, so is, is something real? Like I've never been to any of these places. I've never seen any of these places. I don't know what's going on. Right. I've never seen a child starving to death in the streets. I've never seen a buzzard picking up a baby and eating its eyes. You know, you know, pardon me for being a little, you know, graphic there, but you know, I'm, I've just seen, I just remember seeing one of these things where they, they had like a buzzard watching a baby once. I remember when I was watching a UNICEF commercial or something a long time ago, in Africa, I, re I remember seeing this on TV, like they're like sitting on a fence, literally looking like, you know, give us money because soon, you know, the, 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 the birds of prey are going to eat the babies over here or, you know, and maybe it's true. Maybe it's a rumor of being true. Maybe something's going on. I've met someone from that part of the world who told me it's all BS. I can only say that because no, my mother lives there. She goes to the beach every day. You know, so she she's never seen any of this and she's in the country where supposedly there's these rumors of, you know, was there was there all these weapons that they went into certain parts of the Middle East where were all of these things true? I've never seen any of it. Not not yeah. even once. You know, ne never, ever, ever. I've never seen someone shot with a gun. I've never seen someone knifed. I've never seen someone mugged. I've heard stories. You know, I've seen some violence in streets, sure, in the big cities that just happened. But all of these things to be afraid of, you know, the, the, the 
drug wars and the and the mm. gangs coming to your door. And so I'm not saying people haven't been shot in the United States and bad things haven't happened. You know, I don't want to see those comments here unless you need to comment. But, you know, what you're allowing, what you're not allowing, if that becomes part of your life or not part of your life, it's really up to you, right? If you have to leave a neighborhood, you have to change your job, you have to move your vocation, you have to change your perspective, you know, you, you have to like Campbell. Campbell's moved, right? He, 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 he did not allow himself to stay in a small environment and he's decided to allow himself to be, you know, to have a bigger life, you know, and there he is in a bigger life because he allowed it. Right. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't want to put any words in my friend's mouth over here, but, you know, basically you allow change and then, you know, but then, of course, you got to get off your ass and uh, <laughs> allow the effort too. Yeah. chicken coops and all that. Yeah. 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 And this is the thing, like, you know, when you choose something, you allow, you know, if, like a job, say, you know, OK, I'll allow myself to get a job because I want the allowance. But then you've got to, there's all these other things in there. Right? So I'm on the farm and moving here was one choice that I allowed, but now to stay here, I have to allow, well, allow myself, um, I have to be working every day. There's, you know, it's, it's a, it's not just you move here and then sit, you know, like allowing is, it's a process, right? Mm. Like you're going somewhere, you're yeah. allowing something new into your life, like a new, so yeah. So the allowance, allowing things isn't just like a little decision of one, it all, like we've been saying, it just keeps leading on to more and more and more. Mm. And if you, if you see it as one, what just one thing that you're allowing, all these other allowing things will just happen, and you won't notice them. And then you'll turn around, and go, "How did I get here?" Mm. You're right, but but if every mark of the way you're like, "Well, okay, do I consciously allow that or not?" Then yeah, then you're 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 building a conscious reality, aren't you, of of where you want to be? Because you know this is it, it's it's just such a big story, right? And if we allow the stories in and believe them, you know, like Lorenzo was saying, if we allow them to to tell us that this world is it's angry and it's hard runs out there to get you and all that we we'll, we will create that mm. we'll create that. so so by allowing other people to influence us whoever they are the politicians the media then we're allowing their vision right to come true i find myself when i face my death people woke up and there ain't no sorrow ain't no more gonna tell you that only reason i don't wanna Came down from the heavens above and told other people come and dance and said no Got this trust in a life to make a difference What the fuck you gonna do? Stand up and know your part too hard Open up and a piece of come now This is it, is this what we've been waiting for? Warrior dream again, your destiny Uphold the will, not compromise Hey, 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 freedom, 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 freedom yeah Freedom, freedom, freedom is calling us. Freedom, 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 yeah. Freedom, freedom, freedom is calling us. Stepping it up, taking a chance, risking it all. We're going crazy. Stepping it up, taking a chance, risking it all. Taking a higher, baby. Stepping it up. Freedom, 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 yeah. Freedom, freedom, freedom is calling us. Freedom, 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 yeah. Freedom, freedom, freedom is calling us. Freedom, 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 yeah. Freed
Freedom, 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 yeah. Freedom, freedom, freedom's calling us. Freedom, 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 yeah. Freedom, freedom, freedom's calling us. Freedom, 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 yeah. Freedom, freedom, freedom's calling us. Freedom, 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 yeah. Freedom, freedom, freedom's calling us.